when the Attorney General brought new charges against me, he took an hour long video and he'd cut out a sentence in the middle. It took away the context and removed what happened before and what happened after. And then it put the charge that I had incited my followers to attack, harass and go after the defendants, the, the now convicted child rapists. Now, I was making an address. When you take the before and after, now, me and my, my defence team never expected me to be found guilty of this because it's a lie. But when you put the video in context and you watch the before and the after, I'm talking specifically to the media. I'm asking a question to the media. You follow me. You take photographs of me. You harass us, the people on our side of politics. You knock on our doors. You find out where we work. Why don't you do that to these men? These, are, these men are on bail for rape, prostitution and torture of children. Yeah? Why don't you follow them, see where they work, if they're working in chicken shops, which they work. Why don't you follow them? I'm asking a question to the media, okay? I'm not speaking to my followers. Watch the video, you can see it, okay? So that's the Attorney General lying, completely purposely misrepresenting what I was saying, completely changing context and snipping one line, okay? It's bad enough the Attorney General lies. So we never thought I could get convicted. Then I got found guilty. That means the judges, the two most senior judges in this country, completely ignored the evidence. We played the video that showed me talking to the media. I say, what are, are you gonna put photos up and slander people and lie about people? I'm addressing the fake news media. Then the, the judge in her summing up has taken one line where she said, you have encouraged, you have incited vigilantism by your followers to attack these men. It's just a lie. That's nowhere in the video. I'm talking to the media. So what have you got? You've got the most senior, you've got the Attorney General in the government, the most senior judge of the Queen's bench, who are lying in court. The evidence says I didn't. The video shows and proves my innocence. Yet yeah, I've been convicted. Now why? They've had to find something to convict me on, because they want me gone. They want me put into prison, and they want me ultimately killed. And that, and you must show this video to everyone. Nobody can watch that video and say that I was calling on my followers to incite vigilantism. No one. It's just not there. I'm specifically speaking to the media. Please share this everywhere so everyone understands the level of corruption in this country. A video that will go up today, which is an interview with the leader of Je the joint leader of Generation Identity, um, and I I met him because the newspapers this week I read headlines that said Heil Hipster, Heil Hipster, like Heil Hitler. So I thought, who's this? Who's this man? And then one of them said, Meet the new chilling face of fascism. I've seen all these sort of headlines about myself, so I thought I'd boy bypass the prostitutes, the bullshit media. I'd sit down with the man himself and ask him some hard questions or some frank questions about what his views are on race, on religion, etc, etc. So I sat down and spoke to him and that interview will go live. Yes, that interview will go up today. And um, I think it's important to give you the other side of the story that the, and rather than you've base your opinion of somebody on what the media tell you about them surely the media should have sat down with him and asked him the questions that I've asked him you'd have thought so wouldn't you but of course they don't want you to listen to him they don't want you to listen to anyone who speaks out against mass immigration or against the problems that this country faces they want you to base your opinion and judge judge him on what they tell you to think so yeah that'll go live today but when I first come to try and show people who these men were, bearing in mind they've been walking around your towns and cities for the last two years whilst this has been going on. They've been working in shops, chicken shops, probably driving taxis, etc., etc. Um, I thought people should know their faces and their identities. And when I went last time, you can see the footage, you go online, watch it. They, um, they turned up with balaclavas, they tried to get physical, and, none, and they all hid their identities. But because they've been relaxed, do you know why they're relaxed? Because look, there's no media here. There's no media here, there's no press here, there's no mainstream media. They're all taking photographs of someone who said something mean on Twitter. They're not here to 
they're not here to find who these people are. They haven't followed these people. You know this lad who runs Generation Identity? I found out that the media had been harassing his family. Yeah? You want to harass someone's family? You see that man who was getting aggressive as he walked into court? The man who faces charges of child abduction, rape, prostitution. Harass him. Find him. Go knock on his door. Follow him. See where he works. See what he's doing. You want to stick pictures online and call people and slander people? How about you do it about them? Instead of doing it about someone speaking about him. Who knocks? That's what I, I said as well. Like, he doesn't even live with his parents. This, the, the, the young leader, he's 23 years old, doesn't even live with his parents. And do you know why I get quite frustrated about it? Because I know it, all the same things happen, have happened to me. So I know what he's facing. Hello, mate. I agree with the stuff you say. I watch your stuff and I... Oh, thanks, amazing, mate. mate. Thank you very much. You, Cheers, man. Thank you. So, yeah. I, um... I get quite angry, but because I, I, I just think his his family are innocent, and you're and, and they plaster their, the family's names all online. Why would you do that? They do that so that it causes it's all disruption tactics. It's disruption tactics, and it's to disrupt your life and cause you maximum frust, maximum problems. So, for example, in the early years of my activism, I had my mum sitting down crying, begging me to stop, as I'm sure that young lad who I interviewed just yesterday or the day before, I'm sure his family have done the same now. And that's what they want them to do, which is why they've done it, which is why they highlight who they are, which is why they highlight where he worked, because he just lost his job. All of these things play a major part. It's all part of the operation from the far left to silence and stop people. 